If you're excited to get the BB-1000 by BioBidet, but are concerned about how complicated it will be to install, stay tuned. This video will make the process simple. My name is Daniel Johnson. I'm your bidet expert, and I'm the owner of ManyBidets.com, where over the past eight years, we've sold over 10,000 bidets. Now, before we install the BioBidet BB-1000, you might be asking yourself, is the BB-1000 the bidet seat for me? If that's a question you're asking, check out our Ultimate Buyer's Guide eBook. A link is in the video description. It will give you everything you could possibly want to know about bidets and help you make the perfect choice. Now let's jump into the install. We're going to start by turning off the water supply. Mine is a quarter turn, but yours might be required to be turned further. Just turn it off until it stops twisting. And now that we've done that, if we undo this, we're gonna have some water coming through. So let's start by draining the tank. We're gonna hold down on this flush lever until the tank's as empty as possible. We can hear water stopped running, so we're gonna let up on that lever and now unscrew the line that's at the bottom of the tank. We have something down here to catch any water that drips, but we shouldn't have a lot because we've turned off the water and we've drained the tank. All right, so we've got a little bit of water. We're letting that drip out. Now we need to install the T-connector. We want to make sure that this T-connector, which comes with your purchase from us, uh, has a rubber o-ring in the top of the T. And we'll just attach it here. You don't need plumber's tape for this. In fact, we recommend trying it first without plumber's tape. This just needs to be hand tightened. Make sure that you didn't lose the rubber ring on the water inlet and attach that as well. It's also important to note that the, uh, the BB-1000 comes with a, an additional water supply hose. Don't let that confuse you. You can use the existing water supply hose. Uh, the hose that comes with the BB-1000 for the water supply can just be ignored. So don't let that throw you for a loop. You will need to use the water supply hose that leads from the T to the bidet seat, however. So we're gonna go ahead and install that now. Make sure that the rubber gasket is on that as well and connect it to the T connector. The hose that you will be utilizing from the bio bidet box is the white hose. Now that we've got it uh, hand tight, we're gonna go ahead and give it a little additional crank with a wrench. But again, we wanna make sure that we're not over tightening either. Unlike a traditional toilet seat where you mount the entire toilet seat on the toilet in one go, a bidet seat utilizes a mounting plate. So we'll want to install the mounting plate first. The nub that we see here needs to be facing the rear and the arrows need to be pointing at the toilet tank. If we try installing this mounting plate this direction, we have it on backwards. So we wanna make sure it's facing, facing the proper direction and now we can mount it to the toilet. To do that, we are going to use these washers. The washers are going to sit in grooves in the mounting plate. The ridge that we see here does need to be facing up because that's going to grip the top of the bolt heads. And there's little grooves on the bottom sides that allow it to grip the mounting plate. So grooves up and then the bolt goes through those washers. We'll do the same thing on this side as well. Now that we've got the hardware on the top, we need to attach this to the toilet. That will be done using a cone washer with the thin side facing up and the nut on the bottom, which will press that washer up against the bottom side of the porcelain. These are also just hand tightened, so don't over tighten them. 
And then the same thing over on this side. And now this mounting plate is in place, we're ready to slide the seat on. So in sliding this seat onto the mounting plate, we want to make sure that it goes into the grooves that show up here in the bottom. You'll notice that there is a little indention here. That indention lines up with this middle ridge on the, uh, on the mounting plate. You can also see that there's a little hook right here in the middle that will hook into the mounting plate when we slide it on. So let's go ahead and line it up and then slide it into place. You'll hear a click and that's how you know it's, it's officially snapped into place. It's as easy as that. Now the bidet seat is snapped into place and if I want to release the BB-1000 from the mounting plate, I simply press in on that button that we saw a moment ago and it will slide right off. Let's go ahead and slide it on again. And we're good to go. With the BB-1000 securely mounted to the toilet, it's time to connect the water supply. Same basic principle, make sure that that rubber washer is there and then connect it to the water inlet. Again, uh, don't use plumber's tape on this unless you have to that rubber washer should be adequate to uh, make sure that there's no leaking. If you do have to use plumber's tape, make sure that you use it very sparingly. Once you've got it hand tight, you can tighten it slightly more with a wrench, but do attempt not to over tighten it. It's also important to note that the seat may not necessarily fit your toilet perfectly, but if it doesn't, you can loosen up the bolts and slide the seat around a little bit to make it fit better. So we're gonna loosen these bolts a little bit to uh, show you kind of what we're talking about here. I can now move this seat around. I can make sure that left to right it's good, front to back it's good, and then when I have it where I want it, I can tighten these bolts down again in order to secure it into place. Now it's time to plug it into electricity. Now before we run our first trial run, we want to make sure that we remove the blue packing tape that BioBidet puts on to protect the nozzle. So we'll want to just take this off and that will allow the nozzle now to come out successfully. Now at this point in time, I do need to put batteries in the remote. A fairly common question we get is, where is that battery compartment? Well, the problem comes from the fact that you may not realize that this is a wall mount attachment on the back of the remote. If we push down here, we can now see the actual remote itself and we can see the compartment where the batteries go. So let's go ahead and put that in now. And now we could mount this wall mount and once the, the wall mount is mounted on the wall, wherever we see applicable, slide the remote into that wall mount. So we're ready to give it its trial run. Let's go ahead and turn on the water supply. We want to check for leaks. The T connector and of course where the water connects to the bidet. Those all feel dry. Don't confuse the coldness of the water running through with moisture, uh, but do definitely check for those leaks. Now we might be ready to test the seat, but we might start pressing buttons on the remote and not seeing anything happen. That's because we need to move our hand over the seat occupied sensor. That light will come on and now if we press a button, the wash will actually start. Now the first time that you run a wash, you might run into this where you don't see any water coming through. That's because the BB-1000 uses a tank water heater. So the first time that you install this, that water heater has to fill with water. Once it has, that wash will start to run. 
So we're waiting for that water heater tank to fill. And there's that wash. So as soon as that water tank is filled with water, the wash starts. You'll notice as soon as I take my hand off of the seat occupied sensor, the wash stops because no one's now seated on the unit. It's also important to note that this seat sensor sticker can be removed. So feel free to do that. You're not required to leave that sticker on. It will work just fine with that sticker removed as well. Hopefully we've covered everything you need to know to install the BioBidet BB1000. But we know that sometimes things happen that we can't predict. So if you've run into an issue with your installation and want our help, reach out. You can do that by commenting on this video or live chatting us on our website, link in the video description, calling us, emailing us, or texting us. Also keep in mind that we're coming out with some great content on the BB1000, including a features video, a review video, an uninstallation video, and more. So if you want to see those videos when they drop, subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when that happens. Like this video if you like what you saw, and consider making your next purchase from minibidets.com to help support us and help us continue to create great content like this for you and others moving forward. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Minibidets.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.